I love comedians. I, I know the struggle. I've been doing it for 30 some years. I understand the struggle we go through. And you're not going to take comics and just throw us to the side and say, y'all ain't number clowns. No, sir. Another person that found himself on our platform mm -hmm. was Mr. Riza Islam. <laughs> all right, all right. Now, um, I think going into it, we knew that he was going to kind of definitely come with a very strong opinion. Sure. He wasn't going to hold back. Mm -hmm. He was going to, he's a very passionate um, young man. So going into that, like, eventually, you know, that will kind of spiral in its own kind of back and forth around COVID. But how did you prepare for RZA to come on the Comedy Hype News show? Well, I didn't, I, to be honest, I didn't really prepare. I knew of him, and I actually liked him. I, I've seen a lot of his videos, and I agree with a lot of his videos. I, I dug him, you know, I'll be honest with you, I dug it. I thought he was very interesting. Um, I said what I said. I thought he, you know, he threw some comedians and the, 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 the culture of, of comics under the bus with that one thing that we're court, court jesters, you know. Right. Maybe, maybe, maybe two or three that wasn't. But all in all, he kind of act like, you know, we're court jesters. We shouldn't be li you know, listened to. And we were made to just be, you know, the king's tap dancer. And I'm like, no, bro, that's not how we roll. We don't roll like that. Just because we're saying something that you don't like, agree with, don't lump us up with some old you know, cartoon foolishness, you know what I'm saying? There's a lot of brothers who live and die this thing, man. There's a lot of comedians who do this. I'm one of them. I'm very protective of comedians, man. So some comics, don't, they get along, go along. If you say something, okay, I get it. If you're bigger than them, they're like, uh, whatever he says, I don't do that. I love comedians. I, I know the struggle. I've been doing it for 30-some years. I understand the struggle we go through. And you're not going to take comics and just throw us to the side and say, y'all ain't number clowns. No, sir. And so I stood up for him. And many liked it and many appreciated it. Some guys hid, some comics hid behind, I, I, I hear what you're saying, but you know, they didn't want to say nothing. I get the fear, I fear not. I'm not going to be afraid to speak my mind, and that's what it, and some people don't like that. Mm -hmm. And you know, and RZA's people didn't like it. I think RZA respected what, how I said it, what I said. That's why we had a little changing of dialogue, so on forth, so forth, and we talked afterwards. And I was, you know, was talking about getting him on my platform, and I still make him on my platform, see how we can work it out. So I have no beef with him, I just didn't like what he said that, that, that time. Right. And specifically, RZA was commenting on the COVID vaccines and... Chappelle, some people taking a shot, telling people to take shots and, you know... You know right, and his whole stance is, um, I guess he's... he's Anti-vaccine. He's anti, but I, I more so will word it. He seems, I think he said, do your own research. No, he kind of gave you a research, your research. He gave you what he thought the research should be. To feel that the vaccine is not right. validated. And if you take, take one, you haven't done enough research. So enough would only be you not taking it. Right. That's not right. <laughs>